G'day everyone, welcome to another Back to Basics video. This is gonna be about sockets and why you should use them. Whether this is your first pedal, your, or your third pedal, or your 30th pedal, it's always a good idea to use sockets. Some advanced um, builders don't use sockets, that's fine. They've had a lot of experience with building pedals. They know what they're doing. Um, for the rest of us, I would highly recommend using sockets, and the reason is twofold. The first is, if you make a mistake with an IC or a transistor, you can remove it easily. And the second one is, if you want to experiment with an IC or transistor, you can remove it easily again and swap it over. So the type of socket that we're talking about, in case you don't know what I'm, what I'm going on about here, is a, um, an, a socket like this, it looks like this. This is a, uh, it's an economy socket and it has leaf type um, contacts. Let me get a bit of white paper so that the camera will actually focus for once in its life. So that's the, that's the um, socket. So you can see the little leaf connectors in there. This is the cheapest style, style of socket. And the reason why I use them is because they're much easier to get an IC out. They don't grab the IC too strongly. The other type is, um, has machined, uh, a machine socket in it. And I don't actually have one on me at the moment, but if we look at these, which is a single, this is a, this is a, you can get strips of sockets as well. This is called a single inline sock, uh, single inline sockets, a row of single inline sockets. Um, and basically they will look like that, the machined IC type, the, um, little, the little sockets here, just little holes that have been, um, uh, got little sort of gold contacts inside. Um, so basically you want to use, you want to use economy leaf style sockets for your ICs and a single inline sockets for your transistors and you just snap them off as you need them. Um, or actually, don't snap them off, cut them. Because if you snap them, um, you usually end up destroying one of the sockets. It doesn't, never breaks cleanly on the, on, the, on the corner and you end up losing one. Um, so just cut them with some side cutters. Um, so that's what you want to do. Single inline sockets for transistors, leaf, leaf economy, uh, leaf, leaf contact economy type for ICs. You can get them in whatever size you need, 8, 12, 14, 16, whatever size that you need. Um, and you might want to stock up, stock up on them. They're very cheap, only about five cents each. From um, These are from Tater. Um, and um, uh, I think they've got the machine type too, if you do decide to go for those. But I'm warning you, if you do, they it's difficult to get the IC out and you end up bending legs and all sorts of stuff quite severely and getting them in as well. They're, they're actually that tight. So the reason why there's fear about removing ICs from a PCB is because, uh, the reason why I have fear from removing ICs from a PCB is because when you try and remove, like, let's say this, this board for instance, you've got that IC down the middle, there's 18 solder points, you've got to desolder all those points and then do you think that it's going to be, it, luck's going to go our way and you're going to be able to remove um, all the solder from all 18, um, 18 holes and then just lift it out? Never happens like that. You end up putting something up under the IC from the other side and trying to trying to um, trying to lift it out from that side while you're desoldering on this side. It just turns into a mess. It's just easy to put a socket in to start off with. Um, so if you want to go hardcore mode, don't use sockets. That's fine. It's impressive when someone doesn't use sockets because you know what happens if there's a, if there's a problem with the with the with the PCB. You never really know whether you're gonna have a problem with a PCB or not though. I mean, that's problems, they come up unexpectedly. So I always use sockets for that, uh, in, for that reason. So that's it, sockets. Use them, they're great for experimentation, they're great for correcting problems, um, and they're gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier, and they're cheap too. Um, so that's it for this video. Hope it helped, I hope the tip helped, and um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Back to Basics videos and guitar pedal related videos. Thanks for watching.